In the remote grasslands of Inner Mongolia, China's private planes take to the skies. It's a rare privilege for this small group of avid aviators. Outside this festival, they face heavy restrictions, banning them from most of the country's airspace. We're very far behind the US. We want to use this event to promote the opening up of China's airspace. China's military controls nearly all of the country's skies, despite government promises to open a few areas to private flights. Flying is only an option for those who are well connected or pilots who can afford hefty fines for taking to the air illegally, a practice known as black flying. Often there are no alternatives to black flights. If you have to report flights in advance, you lose that sense of freedom. Most Chinese pilots are wealthy given the costs of training and licenses, but the festival proves there's an emerging interest in backyard inventions. When Wan Chang's not cutting hair, he's busy working on his homemade plane, capable of reaching altitudes of over 3,000 metres and speeds of 90 kilometres an hour. If ordinary people, even vegetable-cutting housewives, can fly, that would be best. Some are optimistic the government will one day grant them their wish. If you come back in 10 years, the whole sky may be full of planes. <laughs> but for now, enthusiasts must continue to travel far for the chance to practice their craft.